Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. Place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, skin health, something we're talking about here today, something you may have read about, heard about. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we love hearing from you. If you have a comment or success story, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the Bright Side, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. For more information, also don't forget to ask about joining the Bright Side Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself. You can start a home-based business, work out of your home, work as much or as little as you like, and change the world while you're doing it. And I'm not exaggerating when I say change the world. That's, we change the world a person at a time, and we change a person starting with health. Nothing is more important than our physical well-being when it comes to how we operate in the world. If your body, I'm all about being spiritual and being mentally correct and being emotionally correct, but when you're in pain, it's very hard to address the, the higher aspects of living. When you're in physical pain, it is absolutely awful what happens to us, many of us, as we get older, and I see it hundreds of times a month and read about it hundreds, maybe thousands of times a month. It's terrible. It's heartbreaking. It's tragic, and it is unnecessary. How do you take care of your physical body? Well, lots of ways to do it. Certainly, you got to exercise. you got to move around. you also got to work on the uh, uh, the levels of health for the physical body, the spiritual and mental and emotional levels, all are part of the f how well we operate physically, but nothing is more important than getting on a good nutritional supplement program, and that's what Longevity is all about, and if you're interested in a home-based business, that's what you'll be about if you join the Longevity team, the Brightside Ben team, and you can make some money doing it. 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben team. Or you can sign on. Uh, you can sign up by clicking on the join the team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, so we have been talking about detoxification on the bright side. Hear that word a lot, but nobody ever tells us what it actually it is. Detoxification. That's why we take these detoxification formulas and have no idea what the heck they're what's in them. Many of them have to be cleared out by the very same detoxification system they're supposed to be helping. So I got, I'm not a big believer in a lot of detox, so-called detox programs and detox products, but there are some ways that you can support detox in a non-toxic way. That sounds kind of funny, but that's, a, that's really, you're, when you take an herbal formula, you're detoxing in a toxic way. Herbs are toxic. Yes, they're medicinally toxic if you do them correctly, and certainly they're less toxic than drugs, but there's got to be cleared out by uh, the detoxification system of the body. So they're, def by definition, toxic. There's two, the uh, detoxification system in the body is, is two steps. They call them phase one, phase two. We'll just say two steps. You've got step one, step two. Step one is uh, like a, 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 pre a prep, and... This prep, unfortunately, creates sometimes toxic 
short term, supposedly short term byproducts that are supposed to be cleared out by phase two, assuming phase two is working. Phase two is a more specific system. There's different ways you can, there's more, there, there's, there's a couple different ways step one takes place, but step two has got multiple systems. It's got like five or six steps, or five or six uh, uh, pathways, they call them, five or six ways of operating, we'll say. And phase two, or step two, is more nutritionally based. It's, they're all nutritionally based, but you can, the actual elements of step two are nutritional, uh, nutritional elements. For example, uh, we've been talking about uh, glycorate, uh, uh, glucurate, calcium deglucurate. That's like a nutritional element. Glycine is involved. Sulfur is involved. Selenium is involved. There, nutrition is involved in everything, of course, but the nutrients themselves are used as part of the detox machinery in phase two, in step two. And if you don't have the resources, if you don't have the nutritional resources to accomplish this step two, and you've got these toxic byproducts building up from step one, you will be in big trouble. You, that, this, is where can, this is one of the major causes of cancer, and this is why, no, there's a lot of things here actually. Number one, the system can become overloaded. Uh, when we have too much step one going on, uh, step two can become overloaded and not be able to keep up and stuff will, will build up. But number two, and this is also very important, it, the system can be maxed out. The system can, it can handle a certain amount of toxicity and then no more. So your body will start to pull in resources. Your body will start to pull in, for example, sulfur and selenium. It will take the selenium from the heart. So you'll be more prone towards heart problems. It will take uh, the copper from your collagen, so you'll be more prone towards connective tissue problems. It will take the glycine from, uh, uh, from the connective tissue. You'll be more prone towards wrinkles. Glycine is involved in this detoxification process. Copper, magnesium, zinc, vitamin A. All of these will become diverted away from building and from growing and from repairing towards detox. And that is going to show up as heart problems. It's going to show up as uh, wrinkles. It's going to show up as bone problems. It's going to show up as cholesterol, as uh, uh, broken blood vessels or, or deteriorating arteries and, and veins and cholesterol deposits. It's going, to, uh, it's going to make you be on a stand drug and you, you won't think it's because you're eating a lot of burnt meat or because you're uh, uh, not getting enough glycine or because you're not getting enough sulfur or selenium. And you'll, it'll show up as heart disease, and nobody's going to relate the two. So taking care of the detoxification system is super duper important, not just for toxicity, but for other things, for just general deterioration of the body. Step two is like a, uh, a tinker toy modification. All chemistry is tinker toy modification, but step two is like a little piece, one tinker toy getting stuck on a master tinker toy, an extra tinker toy getting stuck on a base tinker toy, and this extra tinker toy just completely changes the chemistry of the molecule. And there's lots of, there's, f there's five or so or six different tinker toy pieces that get attached in, in step two. And these tinker toy pieces that get attached can come into the body through food and through supplements. And by getting on food and supplements correctly, you can improve step two and allow it to keep up with step one. Now, step two is going to take care of a lot of things. Step two, uh, as I say, can be overloaded if you're smoking, if you're drinking, if you're on prescription drugs. And remember, prescription, this isn't going to show up on the side effect profile. This is one of the hidden, hidden problems associated with prescription drugs that you never hear about. They overload step two. And for that matter, they speed up step one. They overload step two and they speed up step one. So you'll take your drug for your, for your heart disease or for your a beta blocker or an acne drug even for that matter. And later on down the road, you're going to end up with, uh, with breast cancer or, or uterine cancer or some kind of reproductive cancer. Nobody's going to associate the two. This is how this every, the whole thing is linked. Because your birth control pill, it overloads phase two. Now phase two starts to build up and you got toxicity and you lose nutritional resources as your body tries to support phase two detoxification and it's a big mess. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. back 
On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we have an empty board. So now's the time to chime in, 844-236-6010, if you have anything to say about what we're talking about, this whole idea of phase one or phase two, detoxification. If you're dealing with an estrogenic health challenge, and there's many estrogenic health challenges, and in the world of nutrition, estrogen has kind of a bad reputation, which is perhaps deservedly so. Estrogen is a very, very potent substance. When I was working in the pharmacy, I used to hate to have to compound estrogen creams because the window of uh, the th- what they call in the business the therapeutic window, which is the, the narrow amount that you're supposed to get in your blood before you go into toxicity or side effects or uh, at the other end of the spectrum, underdosing. It's like a window between underdosing and overdosing. They call it the therapeutic window. Well, the therapeutic window of estrogen is very narrow, really narrow, because just a little bit too much, a microgram too much, can have, a, a, which is a, a millionth of a gram, a microgram can have a uh, horrible, can can have disastrous results. You can end up with horrible toxicities from just small overdoses. Uh, Estrogen is dosed in the microgram, 0.125 milligrams, 125 micrograms is a dose of Premarin, for example. Premarin was all the rage when I was, when I graduated pharmacy school back in the 19, the 1980s, when I went, had my first retail pharmacy jobs, estrogen was, that was, the, that was like the number one or number two best-selling drug. And then, then all the news came out about estrogen, all the toxicity associated with estrogen. So estrogen pills kind of, they're still use them, of course, and they're still a best-selling drug for that matter, but not as much as they used to, because now they have these so-called bioidentical creams, which is nonsense. There's no, no such thing as bioidentical. And I used to have to compound some of these bioidentical creams when I got a prescription, and I would hate it because you have to be really careful with estrogen. But estrogen, the body, being the brilliant system that it is, clears out estrogen very effectively, instantly. The estrogen goes up, it does its work, and it's eliminated out of the body under healthy circumstances when we're healthy. But when we're not healthy, estrogen does not get cleared out effectively. And as it's being clear, uh, broken down, it can start to, a toxic, by, uh, toxic metabolites can start to build up. And that's where we get into problems with estrogen. And that's why estrogens are associated with inflammation and disease. These toxic estrogens are, uh, breakdown products are very inflammatory, very, with a capital V. And they're super high potent growth stimulators, fibroids and cysts. Um, if you got fibroids and cysts, rest assured you're dealing with these toxic estrogens. If you got PCOS, same deal. So there are many ways this estrogen toxicity can show up. In fact, a vast majority, a huge majority of our health challenges have this, at least partially, this mechanism is at least partially involved. Which means clearing out estrogen, phase two, becomes super important. And if you're on the birth control pill, and, or you're on uh, uh, eating lots of phytoestrogens, soy, for example, or exposing yourself to xenoestrogens, it becomes extra important. Even if you don't have, even if you don't have blown out, uh, full-blown symptoms, if you're on the birth control pill, that's classic, man. Not only are you getting a way mega dose of estrogen on the birth control pill, that's how it works. That's the mechanism. It just floods the, floods the body with estrogen, so the body thinks it's pregnant. Estrogen is a estrogen comes from estrus. It's a uh, it's a uh, hormone that's associated with building a baby. When the body's building a baby, that's the best birth control there is because when you're when you're pregnant, you can't get pregnant again. So what the birth control pill does is it pounds the body with so much estrogen it thinks it's pregnant. Problem is, it's the wrong estrogen. It's the t- it's already toxic estrogen. Even hormone replacement therapy estrogen has to get broken down and can form toxic estrogen. But the birth control pill is not just estrogen, it's toxic estrogen. Body has no idea what to do with that. And if you want to overload your phase two, your phase two detox, if you want to come up with a great strategy for overloading your phase two detox, it's getting on the birth control pill. And anybody who's on that thing, or really any synthetic nasty fake estrogen, but especially the birth, birth control pill, because it's just such a high dose, focus on phase two detoxification. And if you're symptomatic, it's not an option. 
unless you just want to don't even care and you about a horrible disease down the road. If you're symptomatic and you're on the birth control pill, and by symptomatic I mean you have any kind of uh, inflammatory issues, autoimmune issues, uh, uh, mood issues, mood fluctuation issues, weight issues. It's very likely that you're having a problem clearing out your estrogen, especially if it didn't happen before. So uh, phase two, uh, phase one, step one is a, a chemical. It, it involves C, CP450. It's a chemical mod. Uh, uh, it's a, a prep to phase two, to step two. Step two finishes it off. And now, you, once step two finishes it off, there's more things that have to happen. Once step two finishes it off, you got to have good bowel movements. You got to have good intestinal health because once step two finishes it off, th those things have to get out of the body. Yeah, it's true. Step two helps it get out of the body, but it's got to get out of the body. It gets out of the body through the kidneys and the liver or the, uh, the urinary tract and through the bile system and through the liver. And all of this information, by the way, is on the package insert when you buy a drug, how a drug gets cleared. Clearance, they'll say clearance through bile. It's clear through bile. They'll say clear through the kidney. They'll tell you right on the package insert. Get to read that pack. If you're on a prescription drug, get to read that package insert. So if you're on prescription drugs, this is, it's very likely, and you're not taking care of step two, it's very likely that you're overloading step two. And that means a couple things. First off, you're on prescription drugs. Focus on step two detoxification. If you want one thing to do, get on vitamin C. High doses. Beyond tangy tangerine. That's got a high dose of vitamin C in it. That alone, if you want a simple step to, de to detox, we don't even say that we don't call the Beyond Tangy Tangerine a detox supplement, but it has everything you need for the detox, uh, the detoxification systems to work as they should. Get on the BTT. Make sure you're focusing also on the, the health of the bile system. We don't talk about the ultimate enzymes as being important for detoxification, but they are. That bile... There's bile in the, in the uh, ultimate enzymes. Every time you take a capsule, you're taking a capsule of bile. That's going to support the bile system, and that's going to support detox. Making sure you're regular, making sure you're having regular bowel movements. If you're constipated, that is a big, big uh, red flag for toxification because you can't clear out the toxins. And then the bile system backs, out, backs up. Then the bile becomes sludgy, and then the bile doesn't do its work. Then toxicity starts to build up, and you're going to uh, body's uh, step two is going to start to get overloaded, and it's going to start sucking out resources, and you're going to lose nutritional resources that are supposed to be uh, uh, help you uh, protect your circulatory system and your heart, for example, and you're going to end up with heart disease, and nobody's ever going to link it to this overloaded step two, or you may end up with dementia, and nobody's going to over uh, it's going to link it to overloaded step two which is itself following constipation, long-term constipation. Yes, our butt is connected to our head via this mechanism. If you're, if you're having constipation and, you, and then later on down, uh, chronic constipation, and later on down the road you have dementia, you're gonna, nobody's going to think the two are related. But via this mechanism, it's all one big thing. That's, this is why the pharmacomedical model doesn't work. It's because it'll, give, it'll try to treat the brain when the problem is in your butt. Classic example. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number you're listening to the bright side we'll be back right after this okay we are back on the bright side pharmacist ben here 844-236-6010 is our number got a few lines open for you 844-236-6010 and if you are on hold We'll get to you momentarily. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to purchase our Truth Skin Health products, our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist made with plant derived fulvic minerals, as well as high aluronic acid, amino acids, and uh, lactate, super skin firming and moisturizing. 39 bucks for a one ounce supply, lasts you about a month or so. Our Truth uh, 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 Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth uh, Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and now our new Truth Retinol 1% Gel, are all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products, and you will get results right away, instant results. 
nutritional results. One of the neatest things about nutritional supplementation is the more deficient, uh, the more deficient we are, the faster our body absorbs the nutrients. The more deficient we are, the f like a dry sponge sucks up more water than a wet sponge. When the body is deficient in minerals and vitamins and amino acids, etc., it will suck those up like a dry sponge sucks up water, and the same thing happens with your skin. When your skin is deficient in vitamin C, it will suck it up like a dry sponge sucks up water. And you put, the, you put our uh, Truth, Truth Transdermal C Serum, for example, on your skin, and almost right away you can see a difference for most people who haven't dosed their skin with high concentrations of vitamin C, which is most people. And remember, vitamin C is being shunted away into the liver to detox away from your skin. So by addressing your skin topically with vitamin C, you can replace the vitamin C that's being redirected to your liver. Oh yeah, if your body, if phase two detoxification is, is stealing nutrients, you're going to be more prone towards wrinkles. And yeah, accelerated aging of the skin. By using vitamin C topically on the skin, you can mitigate some of those rerouting effects. All right, that's truthtreatments.com, by the way, truthtreatments.com. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here just a moment. This is from the Journal of Pediatrics. The gluten-free diet in children, do the, uh, do the risks outweigh the benefits? The prevalence of celiac disease and autoimmune disease is increasing. The only treatment for CD is a gluten-free diet. Hmm, I wonder why that would be. I love that. The only treatment there is for celiac disease is a gluten-free diet. That's because it's gluten that's causing the problem. <laughs> and by the way, it's not just gluten. There's other elements in grains uh, that can be problematic for folks, especially sugars. Sugars, whether they're in grains or uh, in fruits, are disastrous for folks who have celiac disease. Those sugars are a recipe for something called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, SIBO. And if you have celiac disease, you're way more prone towards a SIBO. But you know what? Lots of us have SIBO and don't have celiac disease. So it's not just gluten that's the bad guy. And going gluten-free, and I hear this, I can't even tell you how many times I hear this every day, literally every day, I hear somebody tell me, oh, but I'm on a gluten-free diet. That's great. But there's lots of other things that you could be that are problematic in grains, and for that matter, in all botanicals, all all plants, all veggies. Continuing here, a commentary schedule for the publication in the Journal of Pediatrics discovers several of the most common inaccuracies regarding the gluten-free diet. One misconception is the gluten-free diet is healthy is a healthy lifestyle for a uh, healthy lifestyle choice with no disadvantages. Really, in fact. In individuals without celiac disease, there are no proven health benefits, uh, assuming they mean going gluten-free. Baloney. Everybody benefits from a gluten-free diet. Almost everybody. Because even if you don't have full-blown celiac autoimmune disease, gluten is glue. That's where the word glue comes from. So I was talking to somebody yesterday about oatmeal. Now, oatmeal doesn't really have gluten in it, but it's got its own problems. If you look, and you can tell this by looking at your oatmeal in the, in the saucepan or whatever oatmeal pan you're making. Let it sit there for a day. Or let it sit there for a couple hours. Just make your oatmeal. Let it sit there for a couple hours and see what happens when you come back. It's going to be a big, gluey lump of sticky yuck. And that big, gluey, lumpy stick of yuck is what can happen inside your intestines when you eat oatmeal. Is there good, are there good things in oatmeal? Yes, there's wonderful things in oatmeal. There's amazing things in oatmeal. Oatmeal is one of nature's most powerful nutritional substances, but you're going to be dealing with a lot of a lot of plant chemical warfare. That's what that sticky stuff is. It's plant chemical warfare. It provides a, it, it's a mechanism for the oat plant to uh, survive because that. That lump that's sitting in your saucepan and sitting in your intestines sits in, in it, it sits in your intestines uh, as a, a way to remind you that you're going to have a problem if you eat it again. And that's how the plant survives. You're going to be like, I don't think I want to eat that stuff again. Celiac disease is a whole other element. Celiac disease is when you have an immune reaction to that lump. That's a whole other thing. But the lump itself is a problem whether or not you have celiac disease. That lump, that stickiness, that heaviness 
it disrupts the, the chemistry of the intestine, and it does it because it's supposed to. That's, that's uh, why nature put it in the oat plant. That's why the oat plant came up with it. All right. And by the way, uh, the headline here, do the gluten-free diet uh, for children, do the risks outweigh the benefits? Uh, it depends on your child. There are, I will say, there are wonderful nutrients for growth, uh, healthy nutrients that are important for kids, that can be important for kids in grains. And, but uh, personally, I don't think it's worth it. Just see how your kid does. This seems to be okay. Uh, and you don't need a test. If he seems to be okay, you're probably okay. But more than likely, he's not going to be okay. He's not going to seem to be okay. All right, let me do one more here, and then we'll get your calls. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Let's see what I want to read here. Oh, here's a good one. New discovery at the heart of healthy cereals. Hmm. New discovery at the Queensland, uh, at the University of Queensland, could help reduce heart disease and boost nutrition security. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, the access to balanced nourishment, that's what that means, globally. Researchers at UQ, uh, UQ's Center for Nutrition and Food Science, Sciences have identified a new mechanism for how healthy cereals such as oats reduce the amount of cholesterol in the bloodstream, lowering the risk of heart disease. This is one of the good things about oats. Oats have something in them called beta-glucan, which is one of the all-time great health, su health nutrients, supplements. It's unbelievable for skin care. I use it in lots of my skin care formulations, and I have for years. Beta-glucan is amazing stuff, and it, to its wonderful list of benefits, which include accelerated healing, anti-cancer, immune stimulation, it also helps lower cholesterol. It has an anti-cholesterol effect. And so doctors think that eating oats can be healthy for your heart. That's why Cheerios advertises itself as being heart healthy because of the beta-glucan content. I say just get straight beta-glucan, use it as a supplement so you don't have to deal with the stickiness in the oats. That being said, got fair is fair, got to be honest here, oat beta-glucan is amazing, amazing stuff. Oats, by the way, are also a great source of vitamin E. Oats have something in them called avenanthramides, and these avenanthramides are very anti-inflammatory. I, I, I use them for uh, uh, skin inflammation, to reduce skin inflammation and skin discomfort. But that doesn't make oats themselves necessarily a great food. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. We are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to go to the phones. Good morning, Christy in California. How are you? Hi, good morning, Ben. Good morning. Um, I'm calling because my fiance had um, a heart, several heart attacks and oh. since his 55th birthday, ironically, on his 55th birthday. Oh, no. Um, which was April the 25th. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, um, he's been in and out of the hospital four or five times. Oh my gosh! Um, he did. He brought this on himself. Although it's very sad the way that it had happened. Um, he did drugs after the suicide of his father three years oh, ago. Oh, like so what? Opiates, what, antidepressants, opiates. What would he get? What um, he... I believe it's opiates for his real back pain. It's truly a bad back oh, pain. But I also no. believe it was also. Um, he called them cross tops, but I believe that they are um, that that they're um, uh, methamphetamine. In other words, amphetamines. He's just he's not using meth like regular meth. Okay, no, I, I get. I understand. Speed uppers. Yeah, so he yeah. was he was doing opiates and the up, uppers. Mm -hmm. Both. That's what oh, I, no. I suspect. Well, okay. Um, well, okay. We don't need to go there. That's not, you know, we were, let's help him out. Okay. So here's right. the deal. Here's the so good news. If anybody else can get help by this, just by me telling people, don't do this. Right, right, right. That's a good point. Uh, he they're has terrible. Four to five percent ejection, ejection fraction. Okay. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So Basically, here's the deal. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Well, here's the deal. The good news, bad news. First of all, bad news is he is in deep trouble. At the age right. of 55 is when it starts to happen, but he's all for most people, but it shouldn't happen that dramatically. So that's right. a big, that's a major, major red flag. And if he doesn't take care of himself right away, he, the road up ahead is not pretty. The good right. news is, the good news is, which we'll let's focus on the good news here, is okay. he, anything he does, he's going to notice a significant difference. Anything. Okay. 
I'd get them on right away on magnesium. Osteo, I'd get them on the osteo. If you do use, use Longevity, get them on the osteo mag right away. Whatever okay. magnesium you get, right away. Get them. Uh, do, so. yeah. Oh, good. Get them on osteo mag. Uh, uh, do the healthy brain and heart pack right away. Have, have, have them take some extra, extra zinc, 50 milligrams a day. You'll have to go to the health food store and get that. Zinc picolinate. Mm-hmm. Have them get vitamin E, mix to cough rolls, do 400 international units a day of that. Uh, bentonite clay, every, probably is important to help them detox a little bit, c- clear out some of that tox- some of that toxin that's probably in the system. Uh, yeah. I, I would take extra vitamin C. There's so many, really, there's so many things here. Um, but if you want to do a, a quick down, there's really tons of things he could do. But the good news is that he's going to notice significant differences right away. Have him do some exercises right away. And you know what? He, it, it's funny. It's not funny. It's ironic or interesting, I should say, that he has this heart problem because he has a broken heart. You follow oh, I, me? I, I totally agree with you. Okay. His, yeah, his so, heart is so broken. His heart's broken. So, right. you know. I, so you, he had just re, reconnected with his father after, like, years. So and sad. I, I found his so father sad. for him. So sad. So, so it, sad. And he also has congestive heart failure. That's, they basically told alter- me to, to, to put him in hospice. Who's, and, who says? They your boyfriend? To, your fiancé? I'm sorry? Who's, who do they say to put in hospice? Your fiancé? Mm-hmm. The, the doctor at the hospital in... Um, in said to put him in hospice? Is. Uh-huh. Are you serious? Oh, my God. That's no, terrible. I'm, not, I'm, I'm no. not kidding. I mean, I, I was mortified because I, I just had no idea. I was not prepared for this when I got to the hospital because they wouldn't tell me what was wrong with him, well, even though he authorized that I could n- talk to he him. He doesn't have he cancer. Non, he, I'm sorry? It's, just his heart, it's just his heart's not working. Is that the idea? Yes, and congestive heart failure. Like No, don't, right there's now. tons you can do. Tons you can do. Oh. Okay. Tons, okay. tons. I, yeah, I only scratched non- the surface. I only scratched the surface. There's so much more. You glucosamine and gelatin and, and protein supplements and you know, the B complex. And I mean, it's, just, it's endless selenium. There's, it's almost endless what he can do. A little exercise, deep breathe, slow, deep breathing, SDR breathing. Okay. I mean, I, I'm, I'm scratching the surface because it's just a radio program, but I'm, I'm, I'm pointing in the right direction and giving you some right. ideas. They, they, but you, they essential, me don't, I forgot essential fatty acids. Those are also important. EFAs. Okay. So, you know, there's tons you can do. And the good news is he's going to notice it right away. Uh, the doctors to give up on him. I, I wouldn't be giving up on him. You know, no, I'm not going to either. I'm not that oh, way. Sorry. So they said it's non-STEMI heart attack. Do you know? I don't even know what that means. Uh, non-STEMI? I, I don't know what non-STEMI. Mm-hmm. I hadn't okay. heard that term. And then what about stem cells? You know, they, they might help. At this point, they might help. Do you have a way of doing stem cell, stem cell therapy? Well, yeah, I, I know of a clinic that's, that uh, the, a neighbor has has um, had multiple relatives. Have I would like look miraculous into it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. I don't know enough about it. Um, by the way, a non-STEMI has to do with uh, with the conductivity of the heart. Doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Okay. 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 It's so. Uh, it just has to do with conductivity and blockages. I, but I his, think it scared him enough. I think it scared him enough that hopefully you know, he won't do it. Yeah. Good. I mean, Good. I, and I'm glad he has you. Thank you, Christy. I appreciate what you're doing, and and I hope, I hope we you. helped him out as well. All right. Take care. Oh, you have did. A, you did. Have, thank you. Okay. Take have care. Bye bye. Bye now. Okay, let's go to Michael in California. Good morning, Michael. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, Ben. Uh, can you settle it, uh, a, a, a dispute between my wife and myself? Uh, I don't know if I want to get involved. I don't no, know about no, that. No. But, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that sounds like, it sounds like a personal thing, but, no, but go no, ahead. No. I, I'll see what I can do. No, no, it's just vitamin D. It's the best okay. application out in the sun before you bathe, after you bathe. You know, uh, I've, you say know, that one more time after you take a shower. You mean or take yeah, a bath? Yeah, the better. To, it's the better. After. To get your after. Rate. Okay. After. Uh, uh, you with first of all, when you take a shower, you'll wash off some of the vitamin D that's being made. Yes. So you you want to let you want to let that sweat and that's those secretions sit on your skin for a while. So you don't right. want to take a shower right away. And secondly, if you take a shower before, you're going to stimulate metab- You're going to stimulate blood blood flow and metabolism. So you'll taking a sh- I would definitely take a shower before uh, and, and do something where you get the blood kind of kind of work kind of st- like a cold shower where you get the blood moving, or maybe even hot and cold where you get the blood moving. So I, I would. Uh, yeah, I would do the shower definitely before. Is that that's really the argument? Take, oh what, yeah, you know. What is she, who's whose side am I on? Who did I who did I uh, support uh, on that? 
Well, I, I, I prefer to, to get as much. I've heard you say that it's the best application of vitamin D is to get it from the sun. As Apps by far, by right. far and away, it's the best way to get your vitamin D. Or a sun lamp, if you can't get out in the sun, right. get yourself a sun lamp. So, right. so who's, what did, you, did you say before or after? Yes, who, right. No, my, my, my view was, was to, was to uh, get as much sun as you could and then bathe afterward. And why did thinking. you? Yeah, I'm saying before. What were you thinking? No, in other words, shower. You say shower before, and then and then yeah. uh, get the exposure. Yeah, because you'll wash off some of the stuff. You'll wash oh. off some of the stuff that's being made. So you, you want to you want to uh, you know you want to keep those secretions on your skin as much as possible. Copy. Got it. All right. Yes, sir. All right. So what else? Anything else I could do? No, no, not, nothing else. And, and uh, keep up the good work. We love your show. I wish. Uh, oh, where are you in California? Oh, Santa Cruz. Come on out again. Oh, you're in Santa Cruz, my home away from home. I love Santa Cruz, <laughs> except I don't like the weather in Santa Cruz. No, I know. That's it's the one thing. Today. It's cold. It's cold. And it's cold even when it's 80 degrees. It's cold in Santa Cruz. Not quite that's that bad. But remember what Mark Twain said: the coldest. Yeah, the coldest. Ever right. In was San Francisco. In San Francisco. Isn't that funny? The coldest summer I ever spent was no. The coldest winter I ever spent right. was summer in San Francisco. Yeah. 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 And that's a great quote. All right, good. Thank you so much for your call. I appreciate it, and uh, I hope you, uh, I saved your marriage or just oh, no, made it better. just kidding. All right. All right. Take care. Take care. Sir. Okay, Howdy. good. Yeah, I'm not sure. I got to think about that with vitamin D. Uh, vitamin D is a super, super fascinating substance. Unbelievable. But it has a downside. You know, it, do you know vitamin C? Vitamin D is actually used as a rodenticide, as a rat killer. It's rat poison in a way. I got an email from a guy who said he wanted to know if he should throw out all his vitamin D because uh, it's rat poison. Well, no, you have to take a super ridiculously high dose of vitamin D for it to function that way. But because it's involved in calcium metabolism, and it's involved in calcium metabolism, not like a vitamin, but like a hormone. Vitamin A and D are the two vitamins that are hormones. There's a big distinction between vitamins and hormones. Hormones are like, uh, they're like drugs in a way. Hormones go, in fact, many drugs work via the hormone system. Hormones turn cells on, just boom, turn them on. Vitamins and nutrients don't work that way. Nutrients support that uh, uh, chemistry. Hormones turn it on. That's a completely different mechanism, and hormones indeed can be problematic. And that's why vitamin A, that's why they'll tell you not to take too much vitamin A also. Vitamin A and vitamin D function as hormones. Now, they're not going to be deadly unless you take ridiculously high amounts, and so that doesn't mean you want to throw out your vitamin D, but it means you want to respect your vitamin D. It means you want, and the best way to respect your vitamin D is to use vitamin D in its most natural form, which is not supplements. I'm not a big believer in vitamin D supplements, by the way, as you can probably tell. But vitamin D from fish oil, vitamin D from fish, vitamin D from uh, uh, the sun is the absolute best way to get your vitamin D. Vitamin D from the sun, the absolute best way to get your vitamin D. It's a superior form of vitamin D to supplemental vitamin D. And also, there's a control mechanism. The body won't make too much. Once it reaches its load or its critical threshold, vitamin D production stops. So the sun is by far and away the best way to get your vitamin D. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We will talk to you all later. Bye for now.